uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, if you are, where if you are, what are you doing? And if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, today I want to do another video in terms of basically helping you get better at PUBG Mobile. I'm going to talk about how I train for PUBG Mobile, how I've trained to improve my gameplay, how I've worked on both my claw layout, which is now a six finger claw layout, uh, and how I've really worked on improving my aim. Uh, most notably with the camera function. I, uh, there's two sections. There's ADS, which is for when you're holding down the trigger and doing things like that. And then there is camera, which is for when you're basically scoping around and just tracking targets before you hold the trigger down. That's the camera section there. And I really hadn't paid enough attention to that on the scopes below like six. Uh, four, three, two, red dot, no scoping. I'd all... I kind of fiddled with them, but not nearly given them as much attention as the spray scopes. And I figured I wanted to change that because I wanted to be able to snipe with anything, particularly now that scopes are far less prevalent. And the best way to do that, I found, was to use a shotgun uh, in TDM. And this has been tremendously helpful for my gameplay, like massively. And I've kind of taken the season off from ranking this season. I'm just working on my game, trying different things, different layouts, different ways of playing the game, different places to drop, and I'm really enjoying it. And one of the things that I've noticed since using this shotgun is just how much better my close quarters combat has gotten. Because you can't have bad sensitivity and use this thing. It's all about camera. And the other thing I've noticed is how much Playing so much TDM has informed my gameplay to the point where even when things go wrong, I panic less and I get away with it. And the thing that I'm concentrating on most of all, which is kind of funny to talk about like this, it's playing in space, having time to do everything. Um, you might note that move there too. That's a wonderful thing in FPP. The pre-fire little lean uh, and then the zoom in when you get the, get a hold of the target. It's a really great way. And I, I do it a lot in TPP, but it looks so much cooler in FPP, hey. So playing with space, it calms you down. It's trying to be a finesse player. And the reason I wanted to really work on camera is this kind of thing. This is a 3X with a car 98K. Scopes are so hard to find right now and so I played with uh, no scope settings which is what I was doing with the uh, S12K and I was constantly readjusting my sensitivity until I got it to the right kind of point and feel and then I was playing with a 3X and just putting it on a you know a K98 or an M24 or something like that and it's not about winning obviously it's just about getting used to the sensitivity and working it out and it improves your game to the point where it went and it started clicking and it really did make a difference. One of the things that I've always had a problem with uh, and I never realized this until I w watched a lot of my footage uh, was my sensitivity on these no scope shots was just way out of whack and I wasn't able to track targets really close. Watch this, see the guy in the white here? Watch me keep him in front of me even when it's really close. And you're gonna see that again with this guy in the blue just here as he comes down the steps. I'm able to move quickly enough and adjust quickly enough and get the sensitivity right so that I can keep him in front of me even when he's moving everywhere. Now let's talk about playing in space and you can really work on this with TDM. Like, I can't tell you how important it is to go and do this for yourself. Playing with space is all about taking your time and not becoming, I guess, frazzled, not becoming pressured. And of course, there's gonna be moments when this happens in your gameplay where you can't help but get pressured. But practicing like this, working through your sensitivity, working through your ADS sensitivity, camera sensitivity, uh, resetting your controls, it is, it's made me a better player. But like, there's no way around this. I've become so much better and so much calmer. I mean, I've always felt like I was calm before, but now the gunfights are coming a lot more naturally and I'm still losing control at times and, and panicking, but it's becoming less and less. Like I'm charging through a whole heap of people here and then I panic and I just, oh, I should have just let the reload happen. And so you're gonna make mistakes. Learning from those mistakes is another way that you are constantly improving. And the whole playing with spacing is, is what that's all about. I can't recommend grabbing the S12K and giving this a shot highly enough. It will, and if you, if you work on it to the point where you set things up correctly, you're gonna have an absolute ball with this thing. Now let's talk a little bit, and I'm gonna show you some examples of some gameplay, just to give you an idea on basically what I, I think this is doing for me. And 
I, I also want to point out, like, I... Uh, I understand that everyone wants everyone to rank up hard and all that kind of thing. I just... Man, I've been doing this for a lot of seasons, right? So I'm enjoying more working on my game than I'm actually playing for rating or everything. But when I am playing, I'm hot dropping and really pushing things. Uh, and even when you've got like just a, a simple gun like a, a Colt 1911, having done so much TDM and got my settings completely correct makes me feel confident that I can take people with any weapon that I find or pick up, which is a really wonderful thing to have on your side. Even when you're in a horrible situation, um, it just lets you be calmer. It lets you play with more space. And that's what we're really trying to do here. We're trying to work on both the mechanics of the game and just tapping it out like that, not not being uncomfortable, is, is what it's all about. When you're in situations where you really shouldn't win, where you're like, you know, and you don't panic, you just work it, you change your guns, you drop to the floor straight away, you start hitting your heels, and then there's another guy pushing you at the same time. You even check to see if anyone's looking at you while that happens, and then you start pushing over to the next guy, and it's it's really helping my gameplay. So I strongly recommend work on your camera settings by using the S12K and then start working on your 3x and everything camera settings you want to do your no scope camera settings your red dot camera settings your two times your three times all that kind of thing camera settings <laughs> so i'll show you a couple of bits this is i'm going to show you the finish of a, an fpp solos game and the start of a tpp game obviously hot dropping hacienda del patron and this is just after playing a buttload of TDM, like just an absolute buttload. And all of, all of a sudden, I'm thinking like someone's taking Murado, I'm gonna to switch to an M416, go out and check him, see what's happening, see if anyone else goes for the Murado. Yep, someone else went for it, he's bailed out now. Excellent. Looking around, I can hear someone else is still down in the courtyard. Nice and relaxed, nice and calm. And that's the craziest thing. I'm still getting rushed occasionally and, and pushed occasionally. But what I'm finding is all the pressure's off for me now. It's it's the kind of gameplay that I remember playing for so long that I kind of got away from a little bit as I pushed rank the last couple of seasons. And this is really enjoyable. I can hear gunshots and, and stuff out this way. I'm wondering who that dude's firing at. And I remember the guy that was looking at the Murado running around in the grass skirt. Surely he's got to be here somewhere. Uh, let's go and try and find him and just working through things by the numbers. Uh, it's a very it's a very cool thing to be able to do. And the reason I feel so confident isn't just that I've played a lot of TDM, obviously. It's that I've worked so hard lately on my settings, my layout, my movement, uh, going to a six-finger claw, working through everything there. It's been absolutely lovely. Now, this is an FPP solos finish. Uh, Killam and Ducky were watching this one today, and I was inordinately proud of this little piece of high IQ uh, PUBG Mobile. There's a bloke up there just rolled up in a car. Um, there he is. I remember how I told you never to jump, like, because if you jump, I've got your parabola and I can hit you. Um, I don't get the headshot. We don't quite clear him and then he gets to a tree. But I mean, that's it's so much harder to hit someone. They're just zigging and zagging than when they're jumping. Um, I'm just trying to track where he's gone to, keep an eyeball out on him, and I'm gonna keep tagging this guy. And this is and this is what I'm talking about when you play a little bit looser, play with a little bit more space, and you think the game through, and everything's kind of on autopilot because you've played so much combat with TDM with different weapons. Everything's kind of on autopilot, and you're just thinking things through. And we missed that shot, but that's cool. Change sides on the window, just working the numbers. Tag him there, that's one body shot. Still looking for another body shot. Change the angles, again, change sides on the window. Then I'm gonna to change to the front door so I get a better angle on the left-hand side of that tree in FPP so he can't, I'm like, hello, uh, what are you doing? And there he is again. Tagged him again, still haven't managed to knock him. He's just healing up between shots. That bloke up there crawling around in the grass. One headshot, another headshot. And I'm realizing right now that it's gonna be really hard to get this guy. I'm running out of time. The circle's gonna shut down. I've tagged him again. He's just gonna wait behind that tree. I need a clear headshot on him. There's just no way. I've, I've hit him four times now. So what I'm gonna do here is go out the back, 
smoke the car, make him think that I'm running into the zone. I think I actually got him again there. Uh, make him think that I'm running into the zone and in the car and then wait for him to start smashing the car and then I will get a nice clear headshot on him. Go in there, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the sound of him hitting the car. There it is. Headshot. Playing with that kind of clarity uh, is because I'm comfortable with everything on my setup right now. And it's taken a while, but my movement's better, my, um, my, my general aiming and just both camera and ADS is better. I still need to tweak my sensitivity for my 3X and my 2X on ADS. I've got to get them sorted. I'm not quite happy with those, but tracking and camera work is just so much better. And this has been a process that took a lot longer than I thought it would, but I'm doing a lot of training. Like I'm finding I'm doing TDMs. I'm working on my game in the cheer park and in the, like doing targets in the cheer park is good you know it, it really is practicing your headshots on targets in the cheer park is bloody lovely and all this kind of stuff anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that video i hope it spurs you on to maybe work on your game a little bit more and really i mean they talk about the journey being the thing i mean that's that's a, the journey is the reward in itself and that kind of is but anyway look after yourselves and as always stay safe on the battlefield bye for now